the next uh, script I wanted to show you is uh, another incredibly powerful uh, script, which is called CSV to tables. This is another great example of how a script can overcome a limitation found in Adobe InDesign. And in this particular case, the limitation is that of the data merge feature in InDesign. And I know what you're probably saying. You're like, well, data merge is awesome. It, it does amazing things. And, and you're absolutely right. But the one area that data merge fails is if you ever want to merge into a table. Okay. Um, you know, there's, there's plenty of cases where I want to do like a directory or, or some type of a listing and I want the content to be put inside of a table. Data merge can't do this. So um, a, a colleague of mine, his name is Loic Igon. I'm not positive on the pronunciation of that. Loic is French. And um, he created this script called CSV uh, to tables. And that script basically allows you to prototype your document. So what I'm going to show you here, if you look up here at the, the top of my document, what I've done is I've created a table. Okay, so, so this just happens to be a two-row table. And I converted this top row to a header row. Okay, now what I did is utilizing the data merge panel, what I did is I added in this particular document, you can see I put the, the first name and then the last name. And then in the sessions column, I put all of the sessions that they are doing. And some people are doing one session, some two, some three. Some are doing five, but um, I limited this demonstration to three. But it wouldn't be hard to expand that. And then over here, I thought it would be nice to have a photo of the speaker. Okay, so if you haven't guessed, uh, this is going to create a merge of all the speakers here at Creative Pro. I thought that might be a, a good, you know, helpful resource, but also a good demonstration too. So um, what you do is you set up your data merge the way you normally would. But again, um, data merge kind of fails at this point. Um, it would be able to duplicate the table if we wanted it to, but that's not what I'm after. I want each record to go into its own row. So over here in my folder, if you look in your, in my users folder here, here is the script that I'm going to run. This is called CSV to tables. Okay. And again, we use data merge to prototype to kind of tell the information for each record where I want it to go. And now if I execute CSV to tables, what you're going to notice if you watch up at the top of the screen, it creates a bunch of empty tabs. And, and I think what's happening behind the scenes, remember, I'm not a scripter, um, but behind the scenes, I think it's actually temporarily putting those records into a new document and then it's pulling them into this final merged version. And if you look at this file now, you are going to see, let me go into preview mode, make it a little bit nicer. You're going to see that all of the speakers um, have been uh, merged into one table and each row of that table is a record. So uh, really powerful uh, and, and really an amazing script that can save you just, just a ton of time. Uh, as you can see, I created this directory in, in a matter of seconds. So that again is uh, the script called CSV to tables. And once again, you, you kind of start with data merge. You specify where you want the fields to go for each record. And then you don't use data merge to produce the file. You use the CSV to tables script. Thanks for watching this video. And if you want lots more tips like this, be sure to check out InDesignSecrets.com and subscribe to InDesign Magazine.